Hello everyone, welcome back to another Gunpla unboxing. For today's unboxing, we have the HG IVO 03, I think it is, uh, 144th scale model McGillis Fareed's Schwab Grays. Um, this one is a more personal thing for me. Um, the Schwab Grays, like this one, was actually the first Gunpla that I ever got. My brother bought it for me and we built it together and it was something that really meant a lot to me. But uh, I hadn't made a ton of gunpla at the time. And during our move across the country, it broke and I threw it away. And realistically, now I know I could have fixed it. And so it's been something that's, that's been really important to me to get another one. So uh, I finally was able to. Uh, I hadn't been seeing them in stock for a very long time. Um, but I was just browsing Gundam Planet um, because I was going to be getting another kit that I'll be doing a video of um, in a while. And I saw that it was uh, back in stock. And I'm like, okay, I have to do this now. So here we have the kit itself. Obviously, this is a newer issue based on the Bandai Spirits. Uh, here is the pilot, the mobile suit itself, in a nice action pose on the front. Taking a look at the side here, you can see various action poses. This one sort of replicating the top pose, but uh, holding the axe instead of the gun. And then showing some of the customization you can do <coughs> with the pieces. Here you can see that it is in fact HG IBO number 3 with a cutoff section of box art. Then over on this side it's information about how it worked in the story along with various uh, health warnings I guess is what that stuff is. Um, taking a look inside, I did pre-sort it. There's not a lot going on here, um, so this should be relatively quick. In a nice dark navy color, we have runner A. Uh, this is parts for the legs, feet, uh, that is arms, side skirt, ankles, and then these go on the uh, side. I guess they'd be fins, but they're... Uh, I don't know how to describe them. Um, and then those are bits for the head chest and those are handbacks right there runner b these go to the shoulders these are definitely arms and then these are parts of the feet obviously i have made one of these before so i do know where most of this stuff goes um here is uh these are parts for the legs there all through there then there's the axe and then the gun which is runner d1 um i suppose i can take a look at runner c now uh it's just uh these go on the torso and that's where the Ahab reactor is. Here we have runner D2 which is the rest of the body being torso there. Um, that's also torso. Uh, I think these are the uh, s the back thrusters there. Hands, different parts for the arms. This is the, uh, the wrist mounted claw um, and then that's a piece for the head that is part of the back there. Um, runner E, uh, these are the fin things I was talking about. Here's the rest of the armoring there. You can see, uh, skirt, arms, uh, these are the shoulders. These are part of the legs. Uh, these are part of the legs as well. Uh, I'm assuming that's part of the head and so is that. That's the, uh, chest and then these are the back thrusters. There's all that and then there is the, uh, command spike. Here we have uh, a small thing of polycaps. I'm not entirely sure how many you use. Um, I know that the neck joint is the polycap one, um, but I'm not positive on much else. Here we have the stickers. There are not a lot of stickers, and they're actually, um, from what I recall, they weren't that bad the first time I made them. Um, and I've gotten better at placing stickers, so these should be relatively fine. Um, there's not a lot, and it's... Uh, I, I guess it's just not that bad, I guess, is the words I want to go. And then, um, I didn't know that I had the wire in my previous one. I guess my brother lost it and, like, dropped it on his floor when he was cutting it out or something. But, uh, I didn't have a wire for it. So, uh, I'm interested now that I actually have one this time. And now taking a look at the instructions, uh, I could probably build this off memory. I'm not going to. Um, I'm also not going to stream this build. I figure I should mention that now. Um, I'm just going to build this on my own time because, again, it's just it's more of a personal thing than 
like an interesting, I want to build this for the people sort of deal. Um, so here it is, the mobile suit there. Um, something that someone pointed out to me that I didn't notice is that uh, not only is Fareed a shark clone, um, what's his name? Gileo is a Garma clone. And that blew my mind. I don't think there's been Garma clones, as far as I'm aware. So that was actually kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> so there's the pilot, the mobile suit, the front of the thing there. Here we have our parts list. Uh, you actually don't use quite a bit of the polycaps, so there is that. Other than that, it seems you use most everything except for one other piece off of the main runners. Um, taking a look at the build instructions, they are pretty densely laid out, but they are very clear and so that is nice there here's the full color instructions finishing up for the uh, side fins the legs uh the rest of the skirt and then those are the back thrusters and weapons and this shows off the uh customization things that you can do um there then on the back we have showing off the accessories the back mounted thrusters more action poses showing off the head front and back view along with a color guide. So I'm extremely excited for this. Uh, it's it's a, it's actually not all that bad of a kit, um, just on top of the fact that it was my first and it's got a very special thing I need to deal with. I love how the, uh, the instruction booklet does not have the Bandai Spirits logo, but the box did. Um, so yeah, um, thank you for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, comment what your favorite or favorite and first, um, this isn't necessarily my favorite Gumba, but it's definitely up there. Um, so first and favorite, I guess. Um, maybe mention a Gundam or mobile suit that has like a special place in your heart because of some reason. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm going to go build this. Um, I, I'm really excited. So again, thank you for watching. Bye, everyone.